all right all right yes thank you very much for staying with us and joining us once again on this channel sports 7 gh it's always a great great pleasure to have you join us this is another beautiful day the almighty god has made let us be glad and rejoice in it indeed we thank the almighty god for yet another fantastic day he has made for all of us um yes now in this video we are going to look at ghana versus nigeria ghana black stars will be playing versus nigeria the super eagles on friday 22nd of march 2024 so about 24 hours or more to the game all right so in this video we are going to look at the strongest starting 11 of ghana black stars as well as the strongest starting 11 of the nigerian super eagles now the thing is that even though it's a friendly game ghana versus nigeria there there's no friendly games you get a point and the new coach of nigeria super eagles has mentioned that indeed even though it's a friendly game when the game starts now you will see that it's not a friendly game so finney the george has said something like that that you cannot take ghana versus nigeria as a friendly game and that is very very true so we are going to approach it with all seriousness and these are the likely starting 11 of both sides all right we are going to do it more with um with projections all right and then also the news we are hearing from the camps of both sides that this is gonna play this is not it's likely this will be. so the news we are hearing from both camps um are all going to feed into the strongest starting 11 you are going to show you from both camps and i'm sure you are going to enjoy it but you have your say also as viewers um you have the chance to let me know your thoughts comments views opinions about the lineup you are going to show you about the players you think should start the game and um, everything you think um about the lineups let me know all your thoughts comments views opinions in the comment section of this video like the video hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below and um, subscribe to the channel yes yeah, subscribe 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 thank you very very much for staying now in this video no in fact the lineups in the idea are here but the thing is that even though um, um i'm saying we should approach it with all seriousness we are going to have a lot of new players in the in both lineups and uh, william trust the didn't come for nigeria because of injury victor shimen is not part and a host of other players so nigeria are going to see some very new players ghana black stars will also see some very very new players because um our defenders our first choice center backs none of them is around in fact alexander jiku is not around salis muhammad is not around daniel amate is not around Joseph Adu is not around. So there are going to be some very new players in the squad. And that is how things are. And even on course, in the course of the game, okay, the coaches are likely to make very um, numerous changes. Because one, it's a friendly game. Two, they have to try every player and see every player. Because both teams are approaching this game with new coaches. Nigeria having an interim coach and Ghana having a substantive coach who is um, have, coming back as a Blasters coach. But then he's a new coach. And so he has to try new players. So with the Nigerian team, we are going to look at the three back, okay? Because it is likely that the coach will like to build on what Jose Passero was doing in the AFCON. Because the three back formation helped Nigeria Super Eagles to reach the finals of the African Cup of Nations. And so it is likely that the new coach, Finiti George, will build on that and have the three back formation. So if it's going to be the three back formation, then Calvin Bassi, Kenneth um, Omero will replace um, William Trostecon. And then there will be Sam Ayeji, okay? And then in the midfield, I am suspecting that Wilfred Ndidi will come in place of Frank Onyeka. And then there will be Alex Iwobi. And then um, the player of Luton Town, um, Gabriel Osho. Gabriel Osho will be the right wing back. And then left back, Onyemichi. Onyamiachi, yes, the Nigerians will forgive me if I'm not able to mention the names properly. All right. Yes, um, of Boavista in Portugal will be the left back also. And then Ademola Lukman and then Moses Simon will be the two players who will be sitting right behind the main striker, which is likely to be Omar Sadek. It will not be Kelichi here, naturally, because he arrived late at camp. And so it is likely to be Omar Sadek who starts the game for Nigerian Super Eagles and maybe Kelichi here natural serial deaths of rangers and the rest will come in in the second half to help nigerian super eagles so if it's going to be a three back formation this is the likely nigerian starting 11 strongest starting 11 to face ghana blasters but if it's going to be a 4 3 3 okay if he says that look i'm my own man and so i have to um go on my own path and he's going to have a 4 3 3 formation this is the likely nigerian starting 11 Stalin wabali will um be 
will remain in the position and then um onyemachi will come as the left back calvin bassi and then kenneth omeru will be the two central defenders calvin bassi and kenneth omeru and then gabriel osho of Luton town will be the right back uh, most likely nathan tala of bright um Bayer Leverkusen. He's having a fantastic season with Bayer Leverkusen and attacking midfielder who is going to be very creative and um a very young player also for um Nigeria in that setup. So if it's going to be a 4 3 3 formation, Nathan Tala is likely to start the game. And um, Wilfred in DD Alex Iwobi will complete the three man midfield, and then the attack will be um Omar Sadek will be um, maintaining his position. And then also um, Moses Simon and then Ademola Lukman also maintaining his position over there. So these are the probable starting 11 of Nigerian team uh, for the game versus Ghana. If it's going to be a 4-3-3 or a 3-back, a 3 4 Three formation, um, or how do I say? Yes, yeah, a three for three formation over there. So, what do you make if you're a Nigerian watching me? What do you make of this lineup? Which player do you think should replace which player? Um, and which lineup would you be expecting in your own estimation and in your own projections? Which lineup would you be expecting the Nigerian Super Eagles to prosecute this particular game versus Ghana Black Stars? Now, let's go to the camp of the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars, Nigeria are having a very solid squad. Ghana is likely to go with a 4-2-3-1 formation. Coach Otuado is a 4-2-3-1 coach. And then our coach who left, Chris Hutton, was also a 4-2-3-1 coach. Okay. So, it is likely that we are not going to go with a 3-back formation um, and it is going to be a conk 4-2-3-1 formation. Especially when we don't really have the key players. Okay. We, especially at the back there. We don't have the key players at all. At the back, Ghana Black Stars defenders, no? it is very very sad over there but most of our players didn't come and that's the situation just like i was telling you in my intro the central defenders of the ghana blasters team are they are not around yes the leading central defenders are not around so Lawrence atizigi will be the goalkeeper of the side and i am I'm, I'm suspecting that he will come back as the main number one of the senior national team the ghana black stars but just like i told you as the game goes on no, he can be changed in the second half for other goalkeepers to come and then try their worth you get a point but then i am suspecting that if it's going to be a stronger starting 11 and then lawrence atiziki will be our goalkeeper the left back will go to patrick pozo because again there is no baba raman there is no gideon mensa at camp gideon mensa didn't come because of injury okay so he couldn't arrive and patrick pozo looks to be the most experienced player he's been with the blasters before he's playing czech republic um and so maybe he's, he's looking to be the main striker and um, the main left back for the senior national team the ghana blasters and then the central defense will go to kasim nuhu and then um ali duseidu kasim nuhu and ali duseidu because like i told you the four center backs of ghana blasters though all of them are not around so he has to bring in new players ali duseidu is a pure center back he's played for ghana as a center back before during the current sky where we played versus um it um is it checked um chili chili and the rest ali duseidu did very well over there so i'm suspecting he will be a center back and partner with kasim nuhu who is also a very experienced black stars player who is likely to get the nod over there to start the game now Tarek lamte of brighton and hove albion is likely to start as the right back of course there is Dennis odor who is also the right back and maybe we'll get the nod over Tarek lamte but then even if Dennis odor starts the game Tarek Lamte will come in in the second half and enjoy the game. Now, in the heart of the midfield, we are also going to see a lot of changes because there is no Kudus Mohamed, there is no Thomas Pate and the likes. So, that is it. But I'm suspecting that there will be a senior player who will start in the heart of the midfield. Okay, so Saleh Samet Abdo will start as the defensive midfielder of the team. And then forcing Amankwa First in Amankwa of, of Salzburg. He's in Salzburg. He played in the UEFA Champions League this season. And so he's expected um, to have a lot of experience and everything in Europe. And so when coming back, you know, he can play for the senior national team, the Ghana Blasters. I prefer and I would love to see um, First in Amankwa starting the game and playing as a number eight. Okay. He links the, um, the attack or the defense to the attack. And that would be a very, very good one. Playing like Majid Ashimeru. We would love to see what First in Amankwa 
Ghana brings on board for Ghana Black Stars. And then NS Nyama, um, likely to play the number 10 role, okay, or the creative midfielder, or yes, the playmaker role. Um, NS Nyama can play that role, but whether or not he'll be given the role is also another question because Andre De Dayu is still in the squad. He scored a goal during the weekend, he played 85 minutes, he has match fitness. Coach Otuado seems to be a fan of Andre De Dayu. So if De Dayu comes to replace NS Nyama as the number 10, don't be surprised at all because I'm sure that Otuado will be looking at we shouldn't lose the game versus Nigeria. We should start war well and so I have to have my experienced players. Even if the day is going to play 45 minutes, it's going to be okay. Do you get the point? So especially when NS Nyama hasn't really played an number 10 role and excelled, but the day has been playing that role for so many years. And so maybe he would love to have the day but I would love to have NS Nyama as the number 10 for the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars. So the, those are our three mid footers. The attackers to and um, Fatah Wishak will likely to start as a right winger. And um, he's he's in form, he's doing very well for Leicester City in the championship, uh, scoring goals, getting some number of assists, about 10 assists. He plays with Kalichi Yanacho of Nigeria in the championship, and he's doing very well. I'm expecting that he'll start. Jordan Ayu as a senior player, as an experienced player, having a very, very good form in Crystal Palace. Um, and of course, Kojo Tuado uh, really trusts him. He is likely to be the left winger of the senior national team, the Ghana Blasters. And then Antoine Semenyo will lead the, the lines for Ghana Black Stars. So these are the starting 11. Or uh, these players will start, likely to start for Ghana Blasters in the game versus Nigeria. Um, we have. <coughs> Lawrence Atizigi um, in post, Tarek Lamte, Ali Duseidu, um, Kasim Nuhu, um, and then Patrick Pozo, Forsen Amankwa, Saleh Samet, Abdo, Ernest Nyama, Jordan Ayu, um, Fatal Wishaku, and then Antoine Semenyo. Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions. What do you have to share with me? Everything. Let me know all of that in the comment section. What are your predictions for the game? Who is going to win? Who is going to beat who? Let me know all your thoughts, comments, views in the comment section. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.